about to start. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of No Conduct Radio. Tonight, we are actually going to answer this question that came up on my Facebook feed. And um, I I went ahead and asked this in our relationship group uh, question and answers on Facebook, and I never received a response. So I'm very excited to see if anyone on our show could actually answer the question. So the question is, Name one thing a man can do better than a woman. Uh, than a woman. So um, the only answers that I got on Facebook, on our Facebook group, were just like sarcastic answers. Let me put it that way. Nobody really answered the question. So I'm going to actually put this question to our panel of hosts here. And uh, we're going to see, you know, if we can get an answer. Being that we have two men on and two women. And uh, we'll see if we can get an answer. Unfortunately, as usual, it appears that Blog Talk Radio is having an issue. So I am actually trying to um, get my panel of hosts on, on, on air. They're actually here. Char apparently was here on time. Oh, oh my God. But, um. Blog Talk Radio has everyone blocked out except me because I'm special. Um, so in the meantime, I want to talk about something else. Um, I was listening to uh, another radio show the other day, uh, the Kevin and Bean show, because I love that show. I don't know if anybody knows that show, but I know you're not supposed to recommend other companies. Well, that's what people say. I don't believe that. But I recommend Kevin and Bean. They're hilarious. But um, I uh, was listening to that show, and they said uh, a woman came into a store, <clears throat> into a Sephora store. So this is a story. A woman came into a Sephora store, and her son, I guess they have like a panel of eyeshadow that kind of looks like finger paints. And her son then, you know, took those that eyeshadow and was treating it like finger paints. And I guess she wasn't paying attention to him. And um, he ruined like, I think it was like three to $400 worth of makeup by messing with that, with that um, eyeshadow kit. So, you know, someone, a, a customer took a picture of it. I guess the customer who told the mom about it took a picture of it and, you know, was like, stand that, you know, not everyone can have a babysitter for their kids or whatever. However, um, you know, I have children as well. And when I take them, you know, if I, if, if I take them to the makeup store with me, I tell them it's a strict hands in pocket rule, number one. Number two, I only limit my time to like 10 minutes because I know children get bored. And um, number three, I really just try and do that when they're like in school or not with me. I don't really go when they are with me, but if the time arises that I do have to go when they're with me, um, I have rules for it. So she posted that on on social media, and she then got blasted with, um, you know, negative remarks talking about she's she's uh, she's mom shaming and you shouldn't mom shame and just just a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, not everybody has the means to. Uh, have a babysitter for their kids, Um, you know, just a bunch of of just negative responses to this mother basically telling this woman that you need to control your child. So then I just started thinking about this whole word shaming and how people are just liberally using the word. Uh, She wasn't mom shaming. She was basically telling a woman who doesn't know how to take care of her kid 
or doesn't have the, the common sense if your child is a wild child because you don't believe in discipline to leave your kid out of a store that's going to, you know, if he's going to ruin it, it's going to cost him, it's going to cost you or the store because more than likely the store is not going to charge you, but it's going to cost like hundreds of dollars to get whatever he broke repaired. And instead of just understanding that this woman, and this woman didn't say, she did say that I understand that not everyone has the means to X, Y, and Z. Then she gave alternatives. I don't understand how that was mom shaming. That was pointed out a fact of a horrible a horrible mother. I'm sorry. You don't know how to, you know, keep your kids in line. Don't touch. Look, but don't touch. When I was little, that, that's what was told to us. Look, but don't touch. And guess what? We better not touch anything. But nowadays, people don't like to discipline. You allow, you allow the children to, you know, make their own rules or, you know, whenever they do something bad, they come to you to tell you why they did something bad. And it's just, it's, it's, it's really getting out of hand. And um, this word shaming, it's being used out of context. This is what I think. I understand it, it is technically sticking to the meaning of the word shaming, but it's being used out of context. <clears throat> um, if you tell a mother that you need to do better as a mother, that's not shaming her. That's giving advice. It, it used to be, you know, it takes a village. Now it's just mind your business. So it's not shaming that mother. It's giving advice. Number two, if you tell a whore you're doing the walk of shame, that's not slut shaming. Calling somebody a whore, that's exactly what you are. There's no way to sl- to shame a slut. You're sh- she shamed herself already. She or he shamed themself, themselves already by being in that predicament. So there's no way for the outside world to then go ahead and shame them. Um, fat shaming. Now, I understand if you're just being evil to a fat person, like, uh, you know, making fun of them, like, oh, tubby, blah, 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 blah. But if you tell somebody, hey, you know, you really have to lose weight. I really feel that, you know, it's healthier if you would lose weight, et cetera, et cetera. That's not fat shaming. That's telling a fat, sh- a fat person who is not fat for a medical reason to get up off your tubby ass and do something about it. That's not fat shaming. Um, I can't even think of whatever else uh, that they they say is supposed shaming. But, you know, to me, the word shaming is used out of complete context nowadays. And everybody feels like, you know, you're, you're flat, you're fat shaming, you're mom shaming, you're slut shaming, you're, I don't know gay shaming, homophobic shaming, uh, bully shaming. I I don't even know anymore. Um, But I think this word is just being used completely out of context. That's my view on that. I I wonder what the rest of our hosts have to say. Unfortunately, Blog Talk has completely blocked us out of our studio area. And um, I haven't been able to get them on yet. I know they're waiting. I know they're probably patiently listening, but I can't get you on. So I'm going to see if while I try and resolve the issue, if I have a song, maybe I could play for y'all instead. I could sing for you, but then that'll like make your ears bleed. So let's see if I could even get a song on here. If not, then we'll just have to cut this radio show today short. You heard my 10-minute rant. (laughs) And we'll probably have to pick it up next week. Thanks, Blog Talk. Thanks, Obama. So, yeah, it looks like our, our whole studio is just down. So we're going to go ahead and, I guess, cut today's show short, and we will be back next week, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Granted that um, Blog Talk Radio actually lets us do our show. So that's all I have for you tonight. Um, Meet us back next week. Next week, we're actually going to talk about what I said before, name one thing a woman can do better than, than a man. 
And we have a couple of juicy questions here. So here's one question. I still love my ex, but my friend is now dating him. What should I do? Another one is after seven years of marriage, he finally agreed to a divorce. I've lied to him and cheated on him with different men. Should I tell him or allow him to just move on uh, in ignorance? And another one, let's see. Um, ah, this is a really, um, this is a really interesting one that I need. I need our panel of hosts to help answer this. So another one is, what can I do if my husband rapes me every time I don't want to have sex, then tells me it's better than cheating, than him cheating on me? And uh, we have a lot more, but another one is, I want to get this up for, because I know this person has been waiting for us to answer their question. So uh, another one is, 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 is. <clears throat> Um, I'm dating this guy, and a few weeks back, we had some issues involving his parents, and during that time, I kind of fell out of love with him, Um, but now that everything is solved, I'm confused of what I should do. I mean, whenever he's away from me, I wish he was with me, but when when he is, I feel nothing. Please help me. I'm confused. So these are just a couple of the questions. We have a lot more, but those are just a couple of the questions that we're going to get to next week. We were supposed to get to it this week, but Blog Talk Radio is not cooperating with us. So unfortunately, we're going to end the show a bit early. And thank you for joining me for at least this 12 minutes. And we're going to see you here next week, 6 p.m. Eastern time right here on No Conduct Radio. Thank you for being patient with our, well, with Blog Talk, because it's not ours, with Blog Talk's um, technical difficulties. Peace out, everyone.